I'm Gareth from TFS, Tropical Fuckstorm. Uh, I'm going to show you my stuff, starting with my guitar. It's a bit dirty. Um, it's a Fender Jag on the outside and like a 70s SG or Les Paul on the inside. Works just like a Les Paul, except only has one volume, one tone. Um, and that's basically because if I kept the real Jaguar parts in it, I would sound too much like Roland Howard. And if I put Gibson stuff in it, now I sound like Angus Young, who is another Australian. Um, yeah, so that's that. Uh, it's a 1995 it's Japanese, which means you can drop it, and you won't feel bad. I took them out because they're stupid and you, you sort of just got to tape them up. Um, one of the switches, I can never remember which one, actually turns the guitar off, which can be annoying when you're playing a big concert. Um, so I took them out, plus you can cut your hands on them, they're really sharp. Same with that one there, it was a square kind of toggle. I don't know, I was just forever cutting my hand on it. Um, so I've got this, it's like a 110 volt you know, fucking 20 amp switch, and that's been perfect since for fucking 20 years, it hasn't hasn't made a mistake yet. Uh, these don't work, so it's just those, yeah. That's a PAF, like, you know, like 59 Les Paul pickup. Uh, it's a Seymour Duncan, keeps popping out because it's a bit rooted. Uh, it's some Seymour Duncan, that's just a humbucker too, so it's... Um, it's got medium jumbo frets, I don't know. The headstock's been snapped in half about three times, which is um, one of the reasons that I don't play a Gibson is because the headstocks fall off all the time, but then I'll jump to this. But um, I mean, I think if I even just looked at a Gibson headstock, it would pop off. So this is pretty, it's a pretty tough guitar. In the back, you can go bling, bling, bling. Uh, I don't know what I'll say. It was, uh, it was 1100 bucks in 1995 and my mum lent me the money. Concert tuning, so it's just stock standard tuning. Not rich enough to have that many guitars where we can have lots of different tunings. Um, uh, I think the strings are like 48s to 11s, so a bit heavier than normal, but not medium. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, it's been modded. Uh, the bridge you can see is, everyone likes to use those other posh bridges, but mine seems to have rusted into place pretty well. Uh, it has, what have I done in here? These, they're Japanese, so these just pop out, but then these are cable tied in. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of busted up, but it still goes. It's got a really good neck, feels good. Uh, it's a short scale neck. Not as short as a Mustang, but it suits me. I like it, I don't like long things. Plus, you go boing, it sort of has more boing if it's shorter, so yeah. Oh, okay, it's my favourite possession of all the things in the world. So that's a pod, HD 500X multi effect. Um, it's basically just got a million uh, effects in it. Um, and you can route out of this into these. So it kind of makes it uh, interesting. You can um, easily put any of these before or after anything in there. It almost turns these into software. Um, uh, I don't know, it's good, it's a good little thing. It's, it's got things like big muffs and fuzz faces and, and rats and stuff, which I have at home and I've, I've tested them and they're exactly the fucking same. They're exactly the fucking same, except the EQs on like the big muff and that and they're a better bit free weight. People would say, no, you gotta have analog, but it's not fucking analog. If it's got a microchip in it, it's not analog and these have microchips in them, so piss it off. Um, so that's a really cool thing. It does this. You know, you can you can assign shit to this. I, I I'm up there singing all the time, and I can't necessarily tap dance on this stuff. So I put lots of stuff in there. So you can go. That'll that'll turn on a fuzz, you know. Whatever to that, that'd be like a memory man. 
Just a you know, electro harmonics memory man. So it sounds like uh, like a spring reverb. Uh, yeah, that is like I think when you turn this on, this particular patch is this will be one of the yellow dots. Some sort of uh, what is the Roland Space Echo kind of thing, like doing that. Uh, yeah, and I've got lots of different patches. This one's a sort of more 50 sound. Uh, this one's cool. You can kind of go. Expression pedal, it means I can do my thing without having to look down at my feet. Or um, so, yeah, and that sort of routes, you know, it's just all programmed and passion. You can do it on your laptop, and um, I can't remember the order, but yeah, there's this thing as well. That's a, yeah, Maris Auto Pit. It's like a weird little sequencer. <laughs> chaos stuff with that um, I've discovered that if you it seems to be permanently locked into like a major scale that's all right so if you're playing E you just need to play the third or the flattened third the, the minor third and then that will play in minor and you'll get lots of weird diminished minor stuff out of it that's really cool tap tempo uh, that's a wrap it's a modded rat, so it's like, you know, the black box rat, the big one, the first one. Then it's, then it's that rat, and then it's a turbo rat. It's got three chips in it. So you can see the little toggle switch there. Um, I just usually keep it on that. Oh, I like all the other rats. Those are the first pedals I got. Um, yeah, so that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> Uh, this is a, there's a company called 4MS and they made, uh, well they make Eurorack stuff now, like for modular synths, but they used to be called 3MS and they used to do shit like this and you just basically, you get online, this was like in the noughties, you'd get online and just tell them what you wanted and they'd pull their hair out trying to make it. So this is a really cool fuzz. Um, different every day it depends what you plug into it and it depends on sort of weird images if you buy a new lead it will with a, with a different kind of resistance it will, it will be different so it's cool um it's called mr ugly but in spanish it's senor feo and spanish people named it so i don't know and then this is a uh, counter five i think so i think an american guy makes it i can't remember you might live in chicago i don't know but um 
it's kind of it does a bunch of stuff, but it goes, you can go. Let me do this. sounding out but they're good they're reliable and you can drop them and uh, yeah belongs to James his brother's Brendan from Fragazi that's interesting um, I don't know it's just a rental it's just a <laughs> um, yeah anything Fender I'll use but then in there I use Marshalls you know the final kind of drive is just a, a plexi a Marshall plexi head um, and just to give it a bit of dirt, so it's kind of never perfectly clean. Oh, you know what I mean, like a Scott. It's just got a bit of bite. Um, yeah, anything Fender that's loud enough is good enough for me. I don't care. Jim Dunlops, what are they, the 88s? Whee! Uh, yeah, they're good. Um, yeah, and a 58. Nothing special. I don't know where it went, I've lost it. Um, yeah, I just usually, uh, I don't want to catch cooties off anyone else. You're always getting colds on tour, so I don't want to get any weird diseases or gum kind of any more dental setbacks than I already have, you know? <laughs> we got a new record called Brain Drops. Uh, it's, it's very good. Uh, I don't know, uh, you could buy that if you wanted. Feel free, it's kind of cool. Um, we're on tour in the United States of America. I don't know, we're just doing our thing. <laughs> 